There are a lot of interesting facts that you probably don't know when it comes to 3ds Max, whether you are new to using 3D animation software or you have been using it for many years now. Today we're going to talk about 10 interesting facts that you probably don't know when it comes to 3ds Max. Number 10, it is the oldest major 3D animation package. After years of hard work, the first prototype of what we know today as 3ds Max was created and proved to be a promising project later. In 1990, a small group of four developers introduced a 3D software called 3D Studio to the world. Those developers were Tom Hudson, Gary Yost, Jack Powell, and then later they were joined by Dan Silva. The four of them worked on the development of 3D Studio Release 1. Around that time, none of the major 3D packages that we have today were created like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, Moto, and Houdini, except Lightwave that was released in the same year in 1990. Blender first version was released in 1998, which is the same year Maya version 1 was released. The first commercial version of Cinema 4D was released in 1993, and Houdini version 1 was released in 1996. Number 9. Its price never surpassed $3,000 One of the goals of 3D Studio in the early days was taking what's in the high end and making it available to everybody. Because for almost 10 years, its price has stayed in the range of $2,000 to $3,000, in a time when the other 3D package's cost was astronomically higher than the price of 3D Studio Max license. For example, the cost of Side Effects Houdini license was between $9,500 and $17,000 from version 1 to version 8 or so. In the 2000s, all the other major 3D packages followed 3DS Max suit and reduced their prices because some of them were in the range of $20,000 for each license. Number 8. It only operates on Windows The early versions of 3D Studio were run in MS-DOS, which was the most commonly used operating system at the time. After releasing few versions in the early 1990s, 3D Studio Max was one of the first high-end animation packages running on Windows NT in 1996. To this date, it is the only 3D package that has neither Mac nor Linux versions, which is weird if you look at it because there are a lot of people using different operating systems like Mac or Linux, and software such as Blender, Maya, and others have different versions for different operating systems. But one of the most amazing facts about 3DS Max is its tight integration with Windows as a platform. For a very long time, 3DS Max kind of allowed users to do great things using Windows, and it had a high degree of flexibility that allows you to do your work faster, because you can almost drag and drop any type of raster graphics format, like JPG, TGA, etc., as well as most video formats like AVI, QuickTime, and so on. So you can drag and drop any file from Windows Explorer to 3DS Max's object in the viewport and apply it as a material. And there are only a few 3D animation software that have this close integration like 3ds Max with Windows as an operating system. Number 7. Early versions used dongle protection In the 90s when 3D animation packages were a new thing, a software protection device commonly known as dongle was used by 3D Studio Max users to access the software and to be able to use it. Dungle is an electronic copy protection and copy protection device. When connected to a computer and other electronics, they unlock software functionality or decode the content. The hardware key was programmed with a product key or other cryptographic protection mechanisms and functions via an electrical connector to the computer. When Dungle was popular in the software industry, not having it meant certain software may only run in restricted mode or not at all. The use of these devices or keys became less popular because most people resisted the concept and found it to be difficult to work with. So companies such as Onidask switched to using licenses with special serial numbers and products similar to those keys are still being used to this date for protection against hackers because they are almost impossible to hack. Number 6. It is the only major 3D animation software developed by Onidask. If you don't know yet, Autodesk is a giant company that owns dozens of computer graphics software in different categories, especially computer-aided design software like AutoCAD, Inventor, Revit, and so on. But it also at one point had all major computer animation software at its disposal and had a monopoly over computer modeling and animation software because it had Maya, Softimage, and 3ds Max, which were the major 3D animation software in game development, and VFX Studios in addition to architecture and commercial work. 
Among those three, 3DS Max is the only one that was developed to a certain extent by Autodesk. But the other two were acquired from other companies in the mid-2000s when Autodesk acquired Alias in 2005 and Avid in 2008, which owned Maya and Softimize respectively. Number 5. Three companies help to develop 3DS Max Autodesk first hired the Yoast Group that we talked about to develop a prototype in the late 80s and after 10 years of hard work, 3DS Max went through different periods of development under the names of different companies owned by Autodesk like Kinetics and Discrete. Some people think that 3DS Max is another software that Autodesk bought from another company, like it usually does, but this one has never been owned by another company other than Autodesk. It was developed first by the Yoast Group, but they were working for Autodesk at the time after they spent many years working on other computer-aided design software. Number 4. It was one of the first 3D software to use modifiers 3DS Max was one of the first computer modeling and animation software to use modifiers in the process of modeling. Modifiers are kind of small tools that can be very useful when it comes to controlling and manipulating geometry parametrically. They allow the user to move, rotate, and scale objects by changing values and parameters rather than modeling everything manually. In the early days of 3DS Max, Yoast Group members were trying to test new tools and modifiers that they developed by using them to create their own small projects, and they were also able to come up with new modifiers based on the needs of the projects that they were working on. Number 3. It is the only 3D package that has a teapot as a primitive. If you go to 3ds Max Primitive Geometry, you will find that there is a teapot among other primitives like Box, Sphere, and so on. This teapot is not just any teapot because it actually has history behind it. It is known as the Yuta Teapot, or the Newell Teapot, which is a 3D test model that has become a standard reference object within the computer graphics community. It is a model of a simple teapot that is considered the 3D equivalent of Hello World in the programming software. It is also a way of creating easy 3D scenes with somewhat complex model acting as a basic geometry for a scene with a light setup. Some programming libraries such as OpenGL Utility Toolkit even have functions dedicated to drawing teapots. The teapot model was created in 1995 by early computer graphics researcher Martin Newell, a member of the pioneering graphics program at the University of Utah. It was one of the first to be modeled using Bezier curve rather than being precisely measured. Number 2. It is the largest 3D package At the time of recording this, 3ds Max is the 3D animation software that has the largest download and installation files among the other 3D packages like Maya, Blender, and Cinema 4D at more than 8 gigs. Compared to Maya at 2 gigabytes, Cinema 4D at about 1 gig, and Blender at less than 200 megabytes, 3ds Max is by far the 3D software with the largest download and installation files. Number 1. It is actively being used in all major industries. Even though the other 3D software such as Maya, Houdini, Cinema 4D, and Blender have their share in computer graphics industries like for example Maya that is being used actively in major game development studios and VFX studios, and Cinema 4D that is being used by motion graphics and architectural visualization studios and commercial studios, in addition to Houdini that is dominating the VFX industry and just getting started to have its place in the game development world, 3ds Max is kind of popular to a certain extent in all those industries including game development, VFX, commercials, and architectural visualization. But this was not the case from the start because first, 3ds Max was kind of popular in architectural visualization work because it was promoted by Autodesk in this industry. After all, Autodesk is first and foremost selling software to clients in technical fields like architecture, engineering, and manufacturing, so it kind of makes sense to be used in this field. And after a few years, studios started to use it to work on their movies and video games. At first, it was not popular, but in the early 2000s, it became the most used 3D package alongside Maya and Softimage in the gaming and VFX industry. And of course, 3ds Max has been used to work on a lot of commercials over the years, which shows us how the software has grown for a small project of four friends working together to become one of the largest commercial software we have today. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.